happening YouTube so today on our show find a place to set you guys here uh, got the new binders it's just like stuff that you don't really think about until at some point when you're starting an excavating company that oh it's like a grand for all this stuff here I got one two three four four twenty foot by half inch change there's one down there another one in there but four of these now arguably I had enough to like we were getting by had enough chain to do it legally and all uh, but why just get by when you can have the nicest stuff so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna hook these up get our chains hooked up cut the chains and then I got slip hooks so these are slip hooks these are uh, I don't know what these are but I can't remember what they're called you guys will tell me anyways so both of those on there so the slip hooks let me sit you down the slip hook here's the idea Slip hook it to the uh, D ring on the trailer, chain to here, and then put a slip hook on the other end of the chain so that other slip hook goes on the excavator. Over there. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to measure it all out and cut it, cut the chains where they need to be cut.
Okay, so I like to use a little bit of gear oil on the binders. That has always worked the best for us. It does collect a little bit of dirt, but what I do is I gear oil and then I'll PB blaster. Gear oil, PB blaster. The winter time and the salt and stuff, it takes a lot more, but that's how I do that. So, here's how this is going to work. Got the short chains exit in the front, pretty simple. Although, That'll be more like that. Slip hook there, slip hook, bam, bam. You got the uh, chain hook, just in case. Pretty much same thing in the back. Just bam, 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 bam. Right here. It's all gonna work out great. And the stick will come down, set there, and then we usually chain the stick to that D-ring there with a regular chain. So, that also does now we've got short chains for this trailer bigger binders for this trailer they just work so much better especially on the skid steer too bam put it around the tie down points they work great it's a lot easier and i i think it's safer too so that's why i went ahead and did that now i just have 400 pounds of uh you know, super heavy duty chain left, but I got ideas for it. We will use it, so that'll be all right. Uh, all right, I'm gonna take this thing off. I'll let you guys watch how stable it is coming off of the beaver tail here of the trailer. It's, like, that's my favorite thing about this trailer, the double incline, so, you know, whatever, four degrees there and eight degrees there, but it's super smooth, especially when it's like cold and icy out like this. You get a lot more stability, uh, just safer coming off of the truck. Here we go. Next step on the video list that you guys can stay tuned. Try to get it this weekend, but try to do a pretty thorough comparison. It's not comparison, but the differences between the 140 and the 270. Obviously, bigger machine, smaller machine. And this thing, it just feels like a mini excavator now. I mean, to some of you who run the bigger ones all the time, that is a mini excavator and a lot of times you know they'll use a 270 or a you know 300 class for a backfill excavator on a pipeline so even this is probably a mini excavator to some of you guys but everybody else that thing's giant that thing's even more giant so stay tuned if you like this video give us a thumbs up Subscribe, 
all that jazz. All right, thank you.